in front of me is one of my other favorite shows. I talk about 90 Day Fiance, but love after lockup. I've got Glorietta and Lizzie joining me. Hi, girls. Hi. Hello. Kind of exciting. You guys are doing a press tour. So exciting. So happy to be here. We're so excited. And um, the, sh- the season's not over yet, so people can still tune in. It's We TV Fridays at 9 o'clock, Love After Lockup. Where are the fellas? Are they not allowed to cross state lines? That's a great question, actually. Um, You know, every inmate is different. It depends on their, you know, stipulations of their probation or their parole, if they even have that. Right. And I should say, for those that don't know about this show, this, how would you guys describe it in your words? What is it? No one's heard it before. It's a show about? It's a show about six new couples that are embarking on their journey to marriage Uh, to the altar, uh, despite the prison bars between them. So it's really uh, exciting and intense. You know, you get all the good drama and shenanigans. (laughs) You do, because you kind of want to know, like, why certain people are attracted to people who are in prison and who are able to maintain a long-term relationship. Lizzie, how long was your man in? How long was Daniel in for? Uh, Daniel was in prison for two and a half years. And you'd met him, though, before he went into jail, right? That's correct, yeah. And so initially in those, what, a few weeks was it that you knew him before he went to jail? Yeah, a week to two weeks. So obviously there were some sparks there that made you hang in there. Yeah, there was. Uh, I don't know, like when I first met Daniel, we clicked somehow, and it's almost like, I don't know, like our souls were like bound to each other, which is funny because I'm a ginger and we're soulless. But, um, yeah, so... I don't know. It just seemed like it was not like he was like you know, he's the one more or less you could say. He's yeah. He, he thought he was the one. Right. And then how was it? Um, ma- how long was your man in jail for? Uh, a little over a year. This last time he was incarcerated, but he's really been in and out of the click. I mean, what is that? I, I heard one of the girls in one of the other seasons say, you know, I've been burned so many times by men. I've been cheated on. That there's a little bit of a sense of peace knowing that he's in jail in prison where i know he can't you know cheat on me or hook up with me but guys still can there's girls that write to them constantly so was that still a worry for you guys while they were in jail that they could be starting relationship a pen pal relationship with someone um the only reason why that was a worry to me is because Teresa, daniel's mom she uh, actually used to get on his facebook and message different girls to actually write him letters yeah and so when i found out about it i freaked out and we daniel and i talked about it he said that he never like contacted them back but i mean it's still definitely a concern especially if your mom's psycho like that right so you guys it's clearly (laughs) that you didn't get along i don't blame you see which is really weird because i feel like Teresa. She's kind of two-faced no you know more or less like me and her we like we get along like off camera just fine but when the cameras are there, she turns into a completely different person, and she's a monster. Wow, maybe she knows show business very well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Camera brings out the worst side of her. <laughs> I mean, how? Uh, where is your relationship now? And I know you guys can't give too much away because the show is still going. Um, let me put it like this. Do you still talk to Teresa? <laughs> no. Okay. Not, not willingly. <laughs> not willingly. Um, I, I mean, what was the worst thing? thing about this situation besides being apart from each other I really think that because you can't have that physical connection in the intimacy there's no passion so it's really you know rather lonely sometimes yeah because you can't really sext anyone right right and you don't want to have phone sex because you know that people are listening right oh my god that's right <laughs> <laughs> so it's not much you can really do can I you guess. write dirty letters to each other oh nope. definitely what? Well, I, well, I've gotten letters like that I'll actually it's like I no. you know no no cause... well it's not like you know elaborate like the Ooh. whole page but you know they put in those few sentences and comments that are really like x-rated that's and true. can yeah. you send them nude photos? No, but there no. is a way around it. And How? I don't know if I should explain that on the radio, but there is a way around Please it. Share. So back when Daniel was, before he got transferred to prison, he was still in county, him and I actually talked about how if you take a photo per se in like lingerie, right? Like where like it's exposing, but like you can't see the nipple. Right. But you take a highlighter 
and you actually go over it. No way! Yeah, there's like somehow some way to actually like expose like what's underneath that picture. Holy shit! God, I never did it, but I really wanted to figure like try it to see if it worked or not. Yes. But so if someone else wants to try it and let me know, <laughs> like you can find me on Twitter and just tag me in that and let's we'll go for it. You know what? I'll make my producer David do it as homework, and then we can <laughs> see if, if it, works it works or not. Or not. Yeah. I wonder if it's a special kind of paper or something that does it. Yeah, and I don't know if you do it, like, on the front or if you do it, like, on the back of the photo, like, where, like, like the paper is and, like, the actual photo. Like, I, mean, I don't know That for sounds sure. like a fun magazine, to be honest. Right. It's like those scratch and sniffs <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> so, I mean, what, besides the obvious, how is dating a former inmate different than dating anybody else? I'd say it's a lot different uh, in many ways. They are um, really, you know, more maybe aggressive sometimes or they're more sensitive it's just a hypersensitivity there and um, there's little things that you know characteristics that each inmate may unfortunately have that are not always fun like nightmares maybe or PTS so you're dealing with you know right. another level of uh, characteristics based on their environments absolutely I mean were any of you ever afraid or scared dating someone in prison i'm not personally how no. about you no 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 it's exciting for me i like the uh, intensity of it to the unknown i'm an adventurous so you know it's fun so kind of like a little bit of addicted to I drama mean, well maybe just a little bit you know, <laughs> i gotta have some excitement in my life i mean i would be i guess i would i i i, I love thinking about the mentality of like the uh, what what clicks inside someone to say I can hang? I can't imagine how many of your friends or family were like, "What the fuck are you doing?" Sure, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. How about you? Yeah, my <laughs> friends weren't big on the whole idea of me dating someone that was incarcerated. They're like, "What's the point?" And I was like, I mean, you got a point there. Like, what is the point of dating someone that's incarcerated? Like, I low key was completely bored with Daniel and mine's relationship. It wasn't exciting in any you know, one way or another, like, while he was incarcerated, so, but I mean, like, we try to make it work, but my friends were like, there's no point, like, you can't see them, you can't hold them, and everyone knows from the show that I never went to go visit Daniel, and so, I mean, that also, you know, puts the icing on the cake, like, what even was the point? Can I ask why you didn't go visit him? Okay, so, on the show, I explained that I didn't go see Daniel due to um, being a full-time college student, as well as being a full-time employee. Um, I have had like, I have a lot of debt more or less from a previous relationship that I'm trying to pay off. Um, however though, I did accidentally expose on Twitter that the reason why I didn't actually go visit Daniel is because right after he got incarcerated, he was using drugs oh. and Teresa like begged me to pay off one of his drug debts. What? And, yeah. Yeah. It's a really bad situation, mm. but long story short, I didn't feel like that he was clean and I didn't want to be around that from my own, um, uh, passive, you know, being a, uh, user and so I steered clear of it and when he got out were you worried that he was going to continue using I was actually I was pretty nervous about it um just because of the fact that like I know that when he was incarcerated like he somehow found a way to still get drugs and so him coming home I it, it's I don't know it was just terrifying more or less like is he going to get back into it is he going to drag me back into it um like me and my sister I uh, actually had a conversation about it you know how uh, like I date these boys that continue to bring me down and drag me through like these bad things and you know she was always concerned that Daniel was going to do that to me as well you know and I mean I completely understand that because I mean he was you know a meth user and using in prison and so yeah that would yeah. be a, a little bit of a concern for me too yeah for real it's yeah Sad. <laughs> I'm talking to Lizzie and Glorietta from Love After Lockup. We TV Fridays at 9 o'clock. The season is still in full force. You guys, what? Because I do show this more so than I thought. The sex when, you know, the guys come right out of jail. Um, so what is that? How intense is that? The first time you guys do it. You know, on television, it's another ballpark because you're exposed and the whole world can see that nationally. So but, it's kind of uh, naughty in a way. It's, um, well, it Do you go to the naughty route or do you perception. go like, eek, is this a good angle? Well, I think it really depends on the individual. You know, it's, it's hard to be intimate when, you know, you're uh, surrounded. Totally. But it's also um, exciting because I'm a wild child, so, um, you know. When you say wild child, does yeah. that mean you get freaky in bed? 
Oh, I'm a freak. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, like an she's o- I'm, I'm an open book. <laughs> like I'm, she's I'm, I'm an open stealing book, that. You know? Let me write that down. Wild I, I don't know, child. I know. So then if you're a wild child, how did you remain faithful? I would have absolutely cheated yeah. on my prison boyfriend while he was yeah. in there if he didn't know. Right. Well, for me, it was convenient because I really, you know, don't uh, go out a lot to bars and clubs anymore. I used to um, because I work and, you know, have uh, family time, right? We have our kids and our animals. So, you know, who has time to always go out? And, you know, it's not easy out there dating. So it was really convenient getting those phone calls. You know, it's just really kind of fit in the schedule, I guess. Got it. Yeah. I can I can understand that if you're a mom and just yeah. trying to figure, you know, I have space enough for this. Right, because you have a teenager. That's about and it. I, I do too. Yes. So they you, keep you on your P's and Q's for sure. And how did he, how was he, for people that don't watch the show, how was, how did he react to this situation? Um, as far as the intimate situation? How or? did your um, son Right. Deal. Oh, oh, right. Well, my son is not uh, on the show. I, you know, refuse to put him on the show. I mean, he's at the age where I don't really want him on the show, you know. So. I, the same thing happened with my son. We were shooting Down and Lives Jenny. He's like, eh, I quit. I'm like, oh, really? episode one of oh, season three. We got so ten hard. more to go. And he oh. didn't want anything to do with it. But how Jeez. did your teenager deal with the fact that you were dating someone in prison? Or did you keep right. that quiet? I kind of keep that quiet because, you know, it's it's a personal thing as, you know, an adult, you know, you really have to separate, you know, certain things because it's 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 a it's a big deal you know it's so yeah that's private information you know what they say what goes on behind closed doors is is personal and private and you know when you think about a teenager at the age my son is 17 he probably wouldn't be okay with it and I wouldn't want to involve him in my shenanigans you know so I agree there's some things that we should just not tell our children I won't um so what's the deal with Alexander's ex-girlfriend Right, Juliana, she um, is kind of uh, in a situation where I think she went on the show wanting to, um, you know, see Alexander to really show him how she's changed since she's been, excuse me, since, you know, she got out of rehab and she looks different and according to him. And, um, you know, things have changed for her. I I think it kind of was like, you know, this, you remember me then, but this is what I look like now. And, you know, ta-da, but. God, I hate those kind of ex-girlfriends. You know, it's just really like coming out the cuts. (laughs) Coming out the woodworks, you know, and and, and it was very unexpected. In last week's episode, he went to meet his ex. Yeah. And, And did you know that was happening? No, I had no idea. Wow. Right. I had no idea at all that that happened. And I was shocked. You know, I I watched it on national television. So that's when you learned with everybody else. Right. Yeah. So that was definitely a shocker for sure. Oh, that had to be very hurtful. Well, you know, it's been a little while. And um, I think with that being said, I get over things fast, whether it's like a day or a week. You know, I I tend to I don't like to hold grudges. I like to move forward, Um, you know. Right. Yeah, As of course. <laughs> it's just healthy. <laughs> I 100% is, it, oh, is it healthy to let go of grudges? Uh, for me, it is. <laughs> now that the show's airing, what are people, like um, strangers that watch the show, coming up to you guys and saying? You know, well, how about you, Lizzie? Well, I work in a convenience store, and so, I mean, I see people on the daily that are like, wait, you look familiar. And I'm like, I don't even know who you are. And they're like, but you're Lizzie from Love After Lockup. Oh, my and I'm God. Like, yeah, that's me. And so they're always uh, like, well, can I get a selfie? You know, of course, because why not? And then um, I actually have this customer that comes in regularly, and he constantly asks me if Daniel and I will go out for drinks with him and his girlfriend. No and way. I'm like, I don't know how many times I have to tell you that Daniel's not going to be down for that, but <laughs> Daniel ain't down for that. <laughs> Every single time he's like, "Okay, can we get drinks now?" No, we're not getting drinks. Like, I'm sorry, but like, you can ask Daniel, and he'll still and he'll tell you no. Oh my god, that's funny. And then, what would you guys say to any other girls that are thinking about dating someone in the system? I would tell them not to do it. It's not worth it. Why? It's. I mean, for me personally, I'm more of like a like your actions speak louder than your words. And when you're dating someone that's incarcerated, it's nothing but words. You know, there's no action behind it. And so I just personally don't feel like it's worth it. That makes a lot of sense. Well said. What about you? Well, I, I would say uh, do whatever your little heart desires. You know, you only live once. I do agree with Lizzie as far as the um, 
the, you know, the drama of the situation, you could just expect the unexpected. You know, you may be dealing with things that you don't want to or you haven't before, just right. because, like I said earlier, the characteristics. But if you have the time or you have an empty nest, such as I, or you're looking for a little excitement because maybe you're on the school board or the PTA committee, you know, I don't know what your situation is. <laughs> if you're on the PTA board and you need some excitement in your life, date someone in prison. That's going to be my favorite thing ever. <laughs> I mean, you know, we go through different chapters in life. Totally. And, you know, There's enough drama different. in those PTA meetings, let me tell you. Oh, I, I agree with you. It's it's very... Uh, Just join an HOA yeah. and you'll have some more. Yeah. I mean, those things are fucking crazy. Yeah, it's never enough, right? You know, it's always more, more, more. <laughs> well, I can't ask you, like, what's going on next for you guys because we have to watch the show. So I just want to thank you both for coming in. Hopefully you come back and fill us in with more details. Lizzie and Glorietta, Love After Lockup, We TV, Fridays at 9 o'clock. Really nice to meet you guys. Good luck to you. So nice to meet you, too. You, too. You, too. Yeah. Well-